So we like the we like the press because right you said shoulder health certainly overhead it's another uh, upper body movement, but uh, but because it has the longest kinetic chain it fits in our criteria of using the most muscle mass across the longest effective range of motion and move the most weight quite nicely. Any questions about that? It's also a great exercise point for sport. There's very few sports that don't require you to produce force into the ground. Um, so this, is, this has got some nice uh, carryover for, for that. One of the concerns that people have, or that some might have, with overhead pressing is what? What are some of the concerns that you might have heard? Impingement. Where? Impingement of what? Shoulder. Right. <clears throat> Does anyone understand what he means by impingement? Right? So at the front of your shoulder, you have that bony process, right? Your acromion meets with your clavicle there, creates the AC joint. Underneath there, you have a very, very, very small gap between the bone and the soft tissue. Right? Your supraspinatus under there and the bursa. How much, how much does that love to get smashed up in there? He loves it. So the concern is, going overhead, that we're going to somehow impinge that soft tissue between the, the head of the humerus and the AC joint. But we have it strict for that. It's our contention that if we do this correctly, there shouldn't be an issue. Right? So, I'll have you face this way. So this is the scapula here, right? This is the acromion process, the corticoid process, right? This is the glenohumeral or the glenoid fossa. So what ends up happening when you're here, as the humerus comes up, the scapula will start to rotate medially this way. And the way that we make certain that there's clearance between the soft tissue and the head of the humerus and these bony processes is to shrug up so the traps pull the tops of the scapulas more medially, and then you have a more open space for that uh, soft tissue to not get smashed. So at the top of the press, and I'll go over this part of the teaching regression, we're going to tell you to shrug up at the top to finish it and make damn certain that the glenoid fossa is pointing as much to the ceiling as possible and making certain stuff doesn't get mashed in there, right? <clears throat> 